Hey folks, welcome back to Conquest Felicium. Okay. Where were we in this game? Ah. I have a very, very large army of Hobergs with a bunch of animals on the front. Now, the animals don't worry me. We can charm those things and, you know, we've got a fair chance of every every couple of rounds, man, you're going to probably charm one of these and then they get torn apart by their uh, friends. The issue is <coughs> the Ents on the front. These are the big scary thing. Now, they are, um, they have got a fire vulnerability. And if I, ha I had picked up the Pyromancer that I had the opportunity to get at the, in the early game, they would have been a bit easier to deal with. However, um, they're not. We've also got Hoburg defenders. These don't, these guys don't look like much, but then, like, look, they're, when they're leveled up like this, they are, they are actually pretty strong. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got, uh, sorry, um, for those of you who don't watch my other videos where I've talked about it a bit, I've been ill the last couple of weeks and kind of getting rid of some crappy cold so if, i'm going to do my best not to keep coughing but uh i can't promise it i'm afraid okay where were we I'm trying to remember what my it's been a while since i played this i've had some computer issues uh this last week oh okay hold on we got a lot of troops here at the grover guy we want to start upgrading some of these guys yeah so Taking out this Hoburg, this Burgermeister army is probably going to be our first job. And I, I just don't know how to do it, <laughs> to be honest. I think these guys these guys are going to walk in on us next turn and kill all these. So I think we need to take, take everything that we've got and go. I think. Yeah, because we don't even have any magic there. Let's just get out of here. We're just going to move over to this, over to this um, group here. Uh, here we've got Demeter, who is Dryad Queen, with a pretty good army on the front line here, actually. Yeah, this is not actually a bad army. It, it doesn't. There's not that many of them, but they're actually quite strong, um, especially with some magic backing them up. Um, so yeah, we, we want these guys. What are we doing here? Were we upgrading our troops? We were, weren't we? Okay, we have got iron. What do we want? Let's just have a look at them in there. Oops, no, do not want to do that. Okay, that's that's why I have that um, message on, by the way, saying, do you want to end the turn? Because I sometimes do this. Okay, we've got some steel hoplites on the front. We've got the steel bulls. How many more minotaurs here? We could probably... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we... Uh... We can only get the Satyr Hoplites, not the stronger ones, because we need the uh, we need a city for that. Um, yeah, at least we've got warriors on the front line, so they're not just the basic Satyrs. Also got the Harpies as well. I like the idea of har armoured harpies. I just don't think they're going to be that good. They sound like they might be fun to use, but... Um, I think... I think I'm going to go for some more warriors, just so we've got some more shields. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um, let's. In that case, let's move these guys back. Um, Dido is going to go here. You guys can move down here. Try and pick up some of this stuff that we've lost. Okay, we've got an army here under Autophonos and Heliacon. Yeah, I mean, even with these guys, I don't think we can beat this. Just the Ents, really strong unit. They're going to absolutely wreck us. They're so strong. And tons of hit points and they've got armor. We need fire to kill them. We don't have it. Uh, fire is not something that the Dryad Queen has any access to, sadly. We might be able to move up this way and, and kind of threat enemy from this direction there. Let's see how that works. Um, oh, we've got a harpy queen up here with some harp with some harpies exploring. Let's see what we can find up in up here. Um, meanwhile, Niobe, uh, she's our main. She's our anointed of Gaia. A very very powerful character. Um, can we take this on yet? Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I mean, these are animals, I think. So we could, we, we might be able to take this on. Maybe not with the army we've got here, though. 
Let's grab some Minotaur Warriors so we start upgrading some of these guys. Now, um, Merry Discuss has said to me he does not think that this spell's worth it because the animals, basically, this summons a load of neutral animals and the problem is they will start to take over your own forests. So it might be good at the start of the game but at the end of the game where we are now, not so good. It just depends, like you're, you're trading basically some stupid units that you don't get to control. Um, that will kind of roll, roam around basically. Um, so yeah, maybe not the best spell for us. However, the Call of Gaia is a good spell. Um, but I think at the moment what we're trying to do is just maybe upgrade. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of Grove of Gaia's here. I think the uh, the plan would be to go to her rituals and to, inca to grab an in incarnate Earth Mother. Alternatively, <coughs> we can see what other rituals of what the other ritual of Grand Mastery is going to be. That might be worth doing. Okay, so we've got the Primal Forest. By performing this ritual, a Grove of Gaia will be upgraded to a Primal Forest. This increases the number of creatures that will gather here to fight for the Dryad Queen. Satyrs and Harpies will appear in Primal, primal Forest automatically. Yada yada with the, uh, you know, Centaurs and Minotaurs. Only coming if they've got one of the Commander types. And yeah. Okay, so this upgrades it further. Okay. Earth Mother might be, might be something that we can use to take on the uh, Hobergs, by the way. Okay, let's see what's going on. They're moving down that way. That's interesting. Didn't like that Hammer Dryad, maybe. Oh, we've got a Centaur Sage available as well. That's really interesting. And maybe he's... This guy is coming... Like the, They're coming this way to try and grab me. I'm going to move down here and just come out of, the, come out of range. Now, they will have two action points, so they can move here next turn. So we don't want to move this guy. Yeah, those are kind of tough to deal with. Yeah, I think I think they'll kill us. So, Themis here, I think is just going to sit down, sit pretty here. Stay there for the turn, uh, for that turn. Uh, Dida here is going to move back and Demetrius is going to sit again here uh, we're coming into spring probably be about you know another year until we can grab <coughs> the uh, the next level of upgraded primal forest and I think let me just remind myself what the primal yeah, okay, so the Earth Mother needs to be ca uh, to be uh, cast in the Primal Forest. So let's do that. Um, what else can we grab here? Really, we need a city here, don't we? Oh, there's Whitehall we could go and grab back. That might be something we can do in the meantime. Let's leave Niobe there where she is. Um, perhaps we just take out... Maybe we'll just take uh, this guy, Rad Radan. Oh, he can take um, a small group. Just something that I don't really care about losing. I don't really care about losing him, to be honest with you. Uh, so let's get this guy moving up this direction, and we'll go and grab him. Uh, we'll go grab Whitehall back. Okay, that's the one thing about the Hobergs, uh, you know, the Burgermeister. It's quite a strong. I think it's quite a strong class, actually. Oh, we got ambushed. Okay, this could be interesting. It, this could be a horror, in which case we're in big trouble. Uh, yeah, they're, they're quite a strong class. The problem is with them, they are slow. That's their big. That's their big weakness. They are really, really slow. Um, but he's kind of he's effectively pushed me out of this. I can't go there until until he moves. So I'm just going to stay there with those guys. Um. Yeah, no, we're just going to wait. We're just going to wait here. I think. Now, no, I'm on. Got here just a few boar. Let's go and see if we can uh, capture. We might, if we're lucky, might be able to capture an animal. It's it's highly unlikely, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, Diogony here needs to land on some clouds. These are unstable clouds, okay. 
Cloud Forest should be stable, I think. Okay, Halfling's going off that way, um, so that's good. Battle in a forest, let's see if we can grab some of these. Yeah, there we go, look. Okay, so we've got a couple of free boar. Ambush in a savannah. Ah, oh, these guys aren't too much. Yeah, Minotaur's going to trample all over those guys. Okay, we've got a Satyr Commander um, available. Let's bring these dudes back. Themis and friends. Um... Okay, Satyr so, Commander. Let's just grab him. Having some, some more troops can always be useful. Uh, Tim Loss here then. Let's take some Satyrs and we'll move them up to Giant's Envy and we'll start upgrading them. Satyr Snipers might be interesting. I think really what we want is we need something that's going to be able to fight those um, those Ents. Uh, I, I don't I don't actually think that fighting the Ents is going to be a, a viable thing for us to do here. Let's just get some um, Steel Hoplites up and just so we can at least get some of the better units in the game. Okay, six moose might be a bit much for this group. Let's go and grab the ancient forest back. We're going to increase our income. By the way, these guys are going to level up pretty quickly because we've got the old weapons master here. So we're going to have a, quite a strong army here, I think. Let's just get Radan moving up here to Whitehall and picking up these again. And Demeter and Noamon are just going to stay there where they are. Might just grab some... How many satyr have we got here? Got quite a few. Uh, let's get the warriors. Might as well spend some of the money that we've got now. We've actually got a reasonable income, finally, in the game. Ah, there's a level 2 magic library. Okay. So we've already got a level 2 one here. It's yes, the level 3 that we need. I don't ever remember... I, I do remember seeing a level 3 library, but they're rare, I think. They might be in the clouds or on another plane, maybe. So... <coughs> Excuse me. Leveling up some of the uh, other characters might not be that easy. Oh, we've got jungle down here. Okay. One. Two. Let's just see what we can find up in the clouds. Like I say, it's usually death. Oh, okay, these Hoburgs um, are getting quite troublesome now. I think what we've got to do is pick, pick our battles and start defeating them. What do we got here? This is a lot of Hoburgs. However, we can defeat these with um, with the right tools. So, Tegia here, is she... No, she's not cast a Ritual of Mastery. Oh, yes, she has. She's Grand Hierophantide. Right. She's must... Ah, oh, yeah, look, we got loads of troops here. we got loads of troops here. And Hobergs would be a good bet. Uh, sorry, these guys would be a good bet against Hobergs, I think. They're, um, they're not going to be the strongest things against the armor, but they will do some damage. And the Minotaurs are definitely going to help. Let's grab some Minotaur Warriors as well, so we've got something a little bit stronger on the front line. And then we'll go. Um, we're going to go and deal with these guys. Um, Armored Pikeneers. These are quite strong, though. I think we we'll lose a lot of troops, but I think we've got to try. Let's go and we'll take these. I'll leave Kronos here. We'll bring Tegia. Um There we go. If nothing else, we can try to drive them back. Okay. Let's get Demeter dealing with those moose. There we are. Something like that. Scout. Okay. Oh, so we've got a load of troops because the moose will charge through stuff. Okay, Niobe's got another turn to go. Uh, maybe another couple of turns. Yeah, we're in early... Oh, no, early summer. Okay, so we, we, we're going to get plenty... Of, well, we're getting 300 a turn at the moment. This is really, really big. Really big value. Very, very good. Let's go and... Uh, we're going to take some of these troops, by the way. Let's get Derek here. Along with his Harpy Scout. We're going to pick up some... Some of these guys some of the Minotaurs as well. Just maybe just a bit of a mix of troops. Okay, and then he's going to come back here and then we'll start leveling those up. Ah, Konoha Tengus. These are lightning creatures, I think. Or is it air? Yeah, it's winds. It's air. 
First to three. Uh, they might win this, but let's, let's see if we can win it. Just for funs, funsies. I don't think I'm any in any danger of losing this game now. I think it's just a matter of how how close, you know, how long is it going to take me to win, <laughs> basically. This guy can just stay here. I'm going to grab this Stonehenge back. Ah, got a couple of, some. we've got some void creatures there. Now, it looks like the Hoburg's gone up that way. Let's just get Charbos here. With some kind of like crappy troops. Yeah, it looks like he's here. Um, I'm just guessing there, but I reckon that's true. More of these steel hoplites. Okay. Hoburg's moving south. I'm punished them for entering my lands. See if we can grab some um, some allies here. Yeah, okay, we grabbed one. Battle in the Cloud Hamburg. There we go. Look, we got we got them. They weren't as strong as I remember them being. Uh, let's get some more of these steel hoplites. Okay, that's a nice little front line there. Uh, what have we got here though? I can't see him there, whatever it is. Bring these guys back. Okay, uh, Dida has her own troops. Yeah, she does. So let's bring her... Um, let's get her just moving around and picking these up. Demeter is going to go this way. Bronosis is going to grab that. Okay, Tegia. Just go and kill these guys, please. There we are. Yeah, this is a lot of troops. Uh, this is going to be an interesting battle. I think we'll win it. We've got Animate Tree as well. So if we can get a tree up, that will distract them for a little while. This is going to be an interesting battle. I, 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 this could go either way, to be honest. But let's see how it goes. Okay, Niobe here now can finally cast the Create Primal Forest. There we go. So we got we finally got a Primal Forest. Excellent stuff. Um, so this is, this basically means we can cast some better spells here. They will also, also start summoning in more units. Uh, we've got a Minotaur here, but we don't have a Centaur. We need to get a Centaur back here. For some, I don't know what I did with the Centaur. Get some more Satyr Warriors, but while we're at it. Um, Dirik. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we just want to be... Yeah, let's just get rid of those Warriors. Okay. We can get the best stuff here. So, um, it's got a bit of a mix. Steel Cataphracts look like a good bet. Um, the Minotaurs are also pretty good. Not decided myself yet which are best, actually. The Minotaurs or the uh, the Steel Bulls or the um, or the Cataphracts. I think they're probably both pretty strong. These are really, really good with their Berserking. But these aren't Berserkers, but they've got that Lance Charge. Yeah, interesting. These aren't battle fast, that's the only thing. Whereas the others are. Satyr are battle fast as well, I think, aren't they? Oh no, maybe they're not. Yeah, they are, okay. So yeah, the, the Minotaurs are going to get in your way of your other troops, basically. Let's try some of the snipers, we don't have, haven't got any of those yet. Okay, Diogenes is going to leave a uh, couple of her harpies here, just as guards. We're just going to carry on exploring around here. Okay, and uh, the rest of them can just sit around. Uh, we're not going to take on those Sultan. Let's just go and pick up some of these other things around here with this guy. I don't want to kill those. I don't think we're able to, though. Oh, I've got an Atavi tribe village down here. Uh, Jarbos is just going to see what we can... I bet he's there. Um, let's keep him here and just see what we can see. Because I think he might be sat on those mountains. Yep, I was right. <clears throat> I know this game well. 
Here we go. Let's see if we can beat these Hoberg. This is going to be a really interesting battle. I'm, I'm not confident I'm going to win it, like, convincingly, but we'll see. Magic might help us here. These are, this is a really, really strong army of um, Hobergs that we're fighting, but we have got also quite a strong army too. Be interested to see how it goes. What's this guy? This is a Burgermeister Guard. Interesting. I don't think he's got any magic. Uh, generally speaking, like in Conquest of Elysium and Dominions and things, uh, the, usually the, the, the army, providing that you know, you've not got a big weakness somewhere else, right? All other things being equal. The more mages wins. It's certainly true in Dominions. I, I think in in Conquest of Elysium it's also probably true. Um, it looks like we are ch chewing through these halflings. Look, we're pushing them back. Minotaur's doing a really, really good job. These are probably our best troop choice for dealing with halflings. Just because of that trample attack. Now, we are going to lose a lot of our Minotaurs in this front line, I'm afraid. But they are going to go down fighting. These are Minotaur warriors as well. So they did cost us some money to upgrade. But they are essentially... Fancy free spawn. I think we've got this. I think we've got this. My magic might start coming into play. <coughs> yeah, maybe I underestimated the strength of this force, but that's fine. Um, now, one of the things is, and Merry Discusser mentioned this as well, and he's dead right. If you've got too many troops, um, your backline troops can't get into range, particularly with magic, right? So you often lose more troops than you would do if you didn't, you know, if you had a smaller force. However, a smaller force is less troops, right? And things start going wrong. That's one of the wonderful things about this game. That's why this is such a fantastic tactical battle game, because you've really got to think. In auto battlers, you do not get a chance to correct your mistakes halfway through the battle. So... You re it's all about the setup, and that's why I love them. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going off playable tactical combat, and I'm getting really into auto battlers. I've been playing Mecha Bellum, by the way, and that's a really, really good game. I think I'm going to start playing on that on the channel at some point. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Okay, we uh, most of the uh, kills were done there with the Minotaurs. We did lose 17 Minotaurs. Uh, we also had five Minotaur Warriors, and they did just five Minotaur Warriors did 42 kills, look, and we only lost two of them. They were still going. These are really, really strong. I mean, I, I kind of... Uh, yeah, I, I reckon I underestimated the power of my um, of my army there. And like, They had quite a lot of slingers as well, which are not that good. They killed 15 units, that's all, and they lost 46. Um, other notable things. Sat five Satyr warriors killed six. Uh, whereas 39 Satyrs killed nine. Now, that's partly because of the ranking and the positioning, obviously. Um, but, you know better much better statistics there so upgrading the troops makes them perform much much better looks like we've lost our farmers ref refuge here so we want to go and grab that back let's just see what we can do here um let we want to go and what we got oh these let's take out these guys as well while we're at it um can we do it yeah these guys were regenerated immediately look that's so cool um, yeah, let's go and get those guys in. Let's go and see if we can capture a few of these. No one can stay there. Okay, um, next turn, we want to... Uh, next, we want to get the Ancient Mother, I think. And that's going to be our next thing. Has she got all of her... Niobe... No, there's another Ritual of Grand Mastery. I'm really interested to see what that is. I'm going to grab that first before I get the, the Earth Mother because there might be something even cooler that we can grab. Some boars here. Okay. Let's have Hermoclides, or whatever he's called. Uh, Hermocles, sorry. Just taking back some of these forests that we've lost. By the way, if you see little jumps in the video, it's because I'm pausing it and coughing. <laughs> I'm trying not to cough and splutter all over the uh, all over the video because I know how gross it is. Uh, let's see what else we've got in this area. I think Mrs. can stay here. Um, let's let's get Balios and we'll drop down these. Uh, we'll just wait for a little while with Balios there. I think. Okay, now we can outpace the Hobergs here.
let's move here and we're gonna we'll wait until he's look, basically this is the thing about this army we've we even though it's it's stronger than anything we can deal with at the moment it's useless really in, unless he can pin us down and he can't he can't pin us down because he's slow because he's a hoberg and that's why i don't like hobergs very much I actually do. I do like them. <laughs> I, can, I can see my friend Marlow grinding his teeth. Like, no, I, I do like Hobergs. <laughs> I just, um, they, I, I've, I struggle to use them. I think it's probably a better way of putting it. Let's get some more of these Satyr snipers. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we've got 10 of those guys. That's enough, that's enough snipers. Um, what we'll do is we'll start leveling up some of the other troops now. Ah, there's a Temple of Baal there. Okay, so she's actually doing a bit of an impromptu scouting mission. Let's get Dida down here and explore in a little bit further. We've uh, it's we're really far into the game, and I really haven't ventured very far out of my forests, and I probably should. Um. Okay, l I, the other thing I probably should do is let's get Tamolos here, and we're going to move him over to the Bramble Fort, I think, the, uh, sil the Silver Woods, sorry, at the uh, Primal Forest. Or the Primal Forest at the Silver Woods, I should say. Here he goes. Like, yeah, he's just going to... This is where the AI um, shows its limitations, to be honest. Because it's just going to move backwards and forwards between those buildings from, in all likelihood. Oh, we've got a Dryad available and a Green Enchantress. Right, okay, let's get those quick. Just watch this battle going in. Yeah, we've both got archers on our side, but they're just going to annoy us with our... I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys berserk as well. And look, when these guys start berserking, they hit strength 7. Oh, these are leveled. Actually, these have leveled up a few times, but still, that's pretty strong. These guys hit like a truck, and um, we might lose a few Minotaurs here. Even these ethereal um, ancestral warriors, look, they've got high hit points for um, ghosts. Kind of dangerous. I, I think you're probably supposed to use more of these guys when, uh, when you play with the uh, Barbarian. I just never was able to get very many of them, to be honest. Um, I might do a Barbarian playthrough at some point because people keep telling me they're better than I realise. I've never really seen them do that well, but I they just don't really seem to have the amount, of same amount of tools as everyone else, but I might be wrong there because I just don't know. Let's get this Dryad and the Green Enchantress. Okay, so I'm just having a look here where we've got, where we can actually recruit through. Um, okay, they've got a Hammer Dryad there. This is... That's bare walled. That's this one down here, right? This might be a good place for a dryad, to be honest. Although we have got... Yeah, we've got Demeter there. What about here, then? This might be a good... Let's get a dryad up here at um, Henwood. And then we can start levelling her up. Um... So she's only the level 1 dryad at the moment, but she's still a decent uh, spawn booster for the satyrs. Um, better, than, better than the commander. Um, by the way, let's get... Yeah, let's get him out, since he's not required now for anything more useful. Um, no, I don't need that many. There we go. Keep up, see. Keyboard commands are very, very good in this game, by the way. Um, there we are. Like, if you know how to use them, they're really, really good. Okay, so that we're going to get this guy out here. Take on some giant centipedes, probably lose some troops, whatever. Um, Parahasi. Probably should do the uh, Ritual of Mastery pretty quick here. But I'm going to wait. She doesn't look like she needs to be... Uh, I need to use her very much. Bring him out there. Get this guy out here. I don't know why I've allowed the, uh, myself to lose all these forests. I'm just being lazy. Um, okay. What do we got around here? Just gonna roll back some of the uh, the fog of war that we've not explored yet. Uh, Niobe, let's get this ritual of grandmastery. Summon servants of Gaia. This ritual summons one or or a, a group of powerful and exotic creatures. The creatures will do their best to help the Dryad Queen to defeat her enemies. Okay, maybe cast in ancient forest in any sacred grove. I don't know what this summons. It might be if we're lucky. It might be cool stuff like beholders. <clears throat> Although I, I, I suspect they might be, um, they might just be for the uh, druid. Maybe we, maybe it's going to be more more fantastic creatures, basically. So uh, it it would be in the theme of this this uh, kind of Greek pan myth sort of 
uh, theme if it was things like I don't know maybe like manticores or um, hydras that kind of stuff you know things from the old myths okay uh, let's just keep Nairobi there uh, Rad oh, can I, I should have killed those damn boars when I had the chance let's go and take those out actually because otherwise we're, they're gonna they're gonna be a pain to deal with uh, Balios just gonna kill those damn moose there's so many animals <laughs> we're just losing so much stuff okay those guys have moved down there so that means we can go and take back this um, from those hobergs and screw them oh yeah we've got the green enchantress as well we definitely want to get her i think we'll grab her here so we've got another um decent mage yeah she's forest magic level two that's pretty good and she's got some different stuff too curse of the frog prince i'm not bothered about that spell um greater healing's really good though and she came with a a gem of flying all right okay that is pretty cool that is nice if you can get it on someone who can cast Earthquake, by the way. Yeah, I think gonna, this guy's just going to carry on where he was going. Let's get... Okay, yeah, we we need him to stay here. Because we need Minotaurs, and we're going to level up some Minotaurs. Uh, Demeter. Let's get her back here. Tegia needs to get back here now too, I think. Diedris is going to explore a little bit. It's kind of risky using her exploring, maybe. A whispering Skull. Oh yeah, that's necrom Necromancy and Charm Immunity. Okay. Uh, Derek, let's start getting some Steel Hoplites here now. Ah, we can't. Okay, let's wait then. Um... Because I want the steel ones, not the not the cheaper ones, I think, at this point in the game. Okay, guys. Uh, let's just watch these. Hopefully we don't lose any troops of nasty poisoning attacks. Okay. Looks like we might get one. Okay, he, he survived. And he'll heal as well. There we go. Bosh. I've got a sea father available. All right, we're starting to reap the rewards of having some, uh, having a library, which is very, very good. Let's get the sea father up here. Vulcan, the sea father. Um, Hydromancy level two. Summon water. That's that's going to summon water elementals. Dehydration. That causes exhaustion. Uh, that's actually a better spell than it sounds, by the way. Um, Torrent of water. Double damage versus fire beings. Okay, and we got sailor's death. This is a soul slay, basically. Um, but it doesn't affect lifeless beings or water breathers. This is interesting. I wonder if this would affect... I wonder if this would affect a tree. Probably shouldn't do, but... Um, I don't see anything in there that says it wouldn't. He's also got himself... Gloves of the Night. Okay. Uh, tempted to give that to Nobi. Where is she? There we are. So she's actually got... Uh, just in case she gets ambushed. She's going to be hard to kill, look, though. She's got um, she's got decent hit points, and she's got four armor now as well. We've got the Scroll of Astral Travel, which I daren't use. Because <laughs> anybody, any of you who know, who know this game well know it always goes wrong. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode there anyway. Um... Yeah, we watched all the battles, didn't we? So I'm going to end the episode there, folks, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you I'll catch you next time. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Are you still enjoying it? See you later, guys. Take care.